Hello, everyone. Smart seems to be everywhere. In fact, there is a kind of proliferation of this word today. And uh, it is more than reasonable to, to ask a question, what about smart and smarter energy? But before elaborating more about this uh, topic, I would like to resonate together with you a little bit more about the smart. And, and uh, that is exactly what I did when I was preparing for this session. And uh, when I look into my environment, my business environment, that is especially the energy and utility area, uh, I came across a lot of smarter aspects and smarter objects. Uh, and you see it displayed here on the screen. It's uh, certainly a smart meter. But what is smart about the meter? In fact, it's just collecting and taking information out of cons consumption of electricity or consumption of water or gas. You see a smart home, but what is smart about a home? You may have some automation capabilities, but it's not smart by nature. It's the same, and that's one of my preferred, is the smart plug. A plug, it's just for me to, to put in something and, and to get out electricity to run something. You have a smart grid, certainly, a smart substation as, a smart, as part of a smart grid, and a smart generation, but also with generation. What is smart about generation? Generation itself, especially the new renewable generation, it is producing energy when the wind is blowing or when the sun is shining. There is nothing smart about it. And, and you agree with me that you can certainly continue with, with other examples here. And, and the second slide shows you some of them. And um, just let me talk about this uh, smarter vehicle or the electrical vehicle approach. What, what is smart about the vehicle? It's not the electricity inside of it. And I'm even not sure if it is about a, a green solution when I'm talking about an electric vehicle because the energy has to be produced somewhere. And today, the energy is mainly produced using uh, fossil um, resources. So it's nothing about a green solution there. Going on with uh, the smart water or the smart storage capability, and uh, certainly one that you all know or have in, in front of you, it's a smartphone or smart capabilities, and I might add another one, it's a smart card, and uh, you, you probably see additional aspects of smart coming up right now. And as I already mentioned, it's not about the object by itself and the nature of the object to make it smart. It's not just by instrumenting these type of objects that makes them really smart here in, in the overall environment. It's important to interconnect these objects to interconnect, interconnect information that is coming out of these objects and to retrieve a kind of intelligence or to make this information smart. And making this smart is related to three Vs. It's volume, velocity, and variety. And, and you recognize that, in fact, the more instrumentation you have in place, the more interconnection of information you have, the more information you have. So the volume of inform information is growing rapidly. What you have also is that the velocity of this information, so the um, time of decision making you have is uh, growing up. So you have to make m much more decisions in the less more time that you have. Uh, and the more information you have, the more difficult it becomes. And the third V is a variety of information. Today you typically have uh, structured information, but in the future, and already sometimes today, you have a lot of unstructured information. You might have video information or audio information that's coming, uh, that is adding to, to the additional information that you have today. And giving you an example, uh, also from the energy and utility aspects, that's uh, about the smart meters. A smart meter today just gives you information of the consumption and you use this information to feed in a meter reading to cash process to have a bill at the end. But a smart meter or an electric, electronic meter is capable to collect also some um, quality information from the grid. And this information can be fed into other uh, business units of your energy and utility company, namely the distribution uh, grid operator or the retailer information. You see also that this instrumentation, interconnection and intelligence brings in, especially for the energy utilities industry, but also interconnecting to other industry, new types of business models. And it's mainly orienting towards a disruptive concept. So what is true today might not be true in the future. And we see today already a lot of transformation that is going on, uh, even though that the EU companies are lying back and saying, oh, I did my business uh, since decades in the same way, so why should I move away from what I'm um, used to do? But my experience is today, and what my understanding is that these energy utility companies will have to move forward. They have to think about new ways of producing energy and handling distributed energy generation as well. 
we see here on the, on the right hand side of the presentation also that energy is at the core of everything that we are doing. Energy is not here only about electricity, but it's also about our natural resources like oil and gas. It's also about water and it's also about heat. And this interlinks, especially when we are talking about smarter energy concepts uh, directed to the telecommunications industry, for example, because you have to transmit all this information. It is linking back to the smarter cities approaches that we have all across Europe and all across the globe, uh, because there you have a link between the inhabitants of the city, between the organizations and, and between the energy um, infrastructure especially. You will see additional interconnections from these energy aspects towards the other capabilities. And to, to underpin what I'm just saying is that energy is in the middle of, of, of everything. Just uh, have a look at three precise examples of uh, figures and the consequences of it. A typical smart meter installation will produce 500 million meter readings per day. 500 million per day. Today, when you receive a bill from your electricity provider, it's typically once per year. So if you have in, in Norway, for example, five million smart meters in place, that means five million meter readings per year. And in the future, you will have 500 million per day. So it's a, it's a huge amount of data that is coming up. Another example, is uh, that you can save a lot of money, and we, we have figures here about uh, 70 billion dollars in terms of infrastructure costs that you can reduce when you have an intelligent management and uh, metering environment for, for your electricity grids and for the other grids. And referring to the CO2 em emissions, it's important to understand that today's energy generation capabilities are responsible for one quarter of the overall CO2 emissions that we have in the world. So bringing down this information is very important and uh, smarter energy will help to reduce this amount of uh, CO2 emissions. This modification and this change is already underway in the energy, in the energy and utility industry and it is strongly interconnecting to other industries. And this interconnection is very important because we see new players coming up and uh, playing a role in the energy and utilities area. Might it be yourself in case you have a, a distributed power generation, for example, a photovoltaic system or combined heat and power in, in your house. And uh, these new players are coming onto the marketplace. They are playing a role. You want to get some money out of it. You want to have some, uh, some green solutions or some green ideas behind uh, your approaches. And, uh, we, we also see it on a more global scale. So the telecommunications providers are coming in and saying, oh, we have all the infrastructure in place, so we can provide energy services to you as well. So why do you need any more the uh, um, energy and utility companies? You will see some building management capable uh, companies coming up and saying, oh, we have already meters in place in our uh, flats in our households, so why can't we play a role of a meter operator and, and feeding in all this information? And I, I like, in fact, uh, to compare it with a platform. And um, I, I'm working in Cologne in Germany, and you have a large cathedral in Cologne, and if in front of this cathedral there's a place, it's a kind of platform, and on this platform you can come in from different areas, from different zones, you can come up um, from downstairs uh, and uh, from the different entry points, and each time when you come across this platform, you, you might meet different persons. There are different players on this platform, there are different scenarios every time, and each time when you go across this platform, you get some ideas, some, some innovative approaches, some, so, some new concepts that are coming up. So it's not about just bringing information on the platform, but it's having interconnection on this platform and getting out with new ideas, new information, new capabilities. And that's what you see represented on this slide here as well. That's about different entry points into this type of platform, reusing of capabilities, reusing of information, and first of all also generating additional capabilities and information out of what you have already on this platform. And this brings in different players and different capabilities. All this is related to the instrumentation and the interconnection that uh, I've already mentioned earlier in the presentation. As this might be a little bit uh, abstract for you, I, I have here some exact samples that might be able to, to help you to understand more 
about this platform approach. And, and the first example that I have is a, a smart metering example. In fact, you have a smart meter in place. A smart meter can be used for feeding in the smart uh, meter reading to cash process and putting out a, a bill afterwards. But it can also be used to have a more energy efficient approach and measuring on each plug the power consumption and providing you more information about wha what you are currently using. It certainly interlinks to the smart grid because a smart meter is a perfect smart grid device and it collects quality information and you can feed in this information back to the energy and utility grid operator. And it's not only about measuring the consumption of power, but it's also about measuring the generation of power. So it's a link to the renewable energy, energy generation as well. And not to forget, uh, my understanding for Norway is, for example, that you have a program to roll out 2.6 million smart meters uh, till the end of 2016. And you have not only to think about communication situations or smart meters or possibilities of the information that you can do, but also on how to bring the smart meters onto the place. And imagine that you need approximately two hours to install a smart meter today. So one person can install approximately four to five smart meters on, on a workday. And if you have to bring out 2.6 million meters, you need a whole yeah, team of electricians going out every day and installing smart meters. And that's coming up to be a, a very um, precise problem for the workforce as well. So smart metering is not only just by collecting information, it interlinks to various uh, industries and in to various capabilities. The second example that I have is more related to the smarter cities approach. And the smarter cities and the municipalities have a lot of own buildings. And their buildings are often old buildings and uh, need to be more energy efficient in the future. So they need to have some monitoring capabilities. The cities are also the owner of an infrastructure. This might be an electricity grid infrastructure, but this picture might also relate to the streets and the water pipes uh, and the gas pipes that are in the city. And uh, this is very important to manage and to, to interlink, especially in terms of the workforce that are um, heading towards reparations or uh, towards the installations. And having the electric ve electrical vehicle or smart vehicle on, on this representation is also important. And it is not especially about electric cars here. It's more or less about a new mobility concept that has to be put in place in the larger cities and across all the countries to be able to fulfill the requirements for you individually, but also for the goals that have been set by the countries in terms of the CO2 reduction, for example. And the last one, especially important for the mega cities across the globe, is the efficient management of the water. So there is a link of water business with the city business or with public infrastructure. This brings me back, in fact, to a kind of summary of uh, what I've uh, showed and presented to you. It is important that all the aspects we are talking about, smart energy, are focused on sustainability. So we are not just doing something because we are technology uh, driven or technology uh, that we like technology, but is to have a sustainable impact on our life and on, onto the planet. It's about integrating, integrating the various types of data certainly, but also integrating the various types of industries that we have. And it's about proactivity. So not just waiting that something happens, but looking into the future and having a, an active role to play. And that's not something that only has to be done by the, by the public institutions or by, your, by, by um, industries, but it has to be done by you and by, my, by me as well. We, we see that it is important to detect kind of patterns. So de detect uh, certain events and, and uh, situations and to react early on these situations. And it is also important to use every kind of tools, processes and capabilities that are available today and think of new capabilities in the future to help to provide a smarter energy approach. And that's the end. What, what counts is that, that we still have a, a, a smiley face onto our planet. And uh, that's one of my last uh, sentences to you today. Having this sustainable impact and uh, having really an impact onto our world, it's really about you and about me. And uh, it helps me always to explain to my three children what I'm doing when I'm not just talking about uh, architecture, about technology, and about uh, funny things that we can do from the IBM perspective, but it's when I'm coming 
back to what is really affecting our life. Uh, and that's about the energy, it's about how we are using energy and how we are moving around in our world and, how we and, and what we can do especially to, to preserve what we have and, and to, to help uh, to have really the smart aspect in, in energy. And smart means here really to have a sustainable impact that we can involve ourselves and that we can manage ourselves. Thank you very much for your attention.